Welcome, friends and collectors. You have joined me for another episode of Diecast Emporium Military Mondays, brought to you by my friends at SmallScaleHobbies.com. There's the website. Visit SmallScaleHobbies.com for everything in the military scale model hobby, including model kits, figure kits, paint, decals, the list goes on and on. All right, as you can tell from the title, the subject of this week's episode is the British Universal Bren Gun Carrier with Tarpoleum. There are several different versions of this model that mimic its real-life counterpart, the historical vehicle. This one, again, as I said, has the tarpoleum cover on it, or the tarp. There's also a D-Day variation, which has armored sides on the side of it. Uh, there's a version to pull around some artillery, as well as a couple of other variations made in 187 scale. Before we take a closer look at the model, let's take a look at the packaging and instructions. There's the box. It is by AlsaCast. You can see 187 scale resin kit. SKU number 8775.183, nothing on the back other than the recycle logo. And then here is the side of the box if you want to see that. The instructions, they don't come any more simplistic than this kit. That's it, that is the instructions. There are a total of three pieces provided with this kit. You have the body of the Bren Gun Carrier as well as both track frames. So there you go, a total of three pieces. Modelers at any skill level will have no problem assembling this model. All right, as we bring it back in here, let's learn a little bit more about the Bren Gun Carrier for those that may not be familiar. It was also known as the Universal Carrier, and it was produced from 1934 to 1960. It was used to transport a two-man Bren Gun crew, even though initially it was designed as a gun tractor for a Vickers machine gun and four-man crew. The advent of the Bren Gun put an end to its gun tractor days, in actuality, the carrier, as you can see, was little more than a tracked, lightly armored box. It weighed only about 8,800 pounds, and with its Ford engine could put out about 85 horsepower. So on a smooth surface, which you're not going to find typically a lot of in uh, combat conditions, but you could get this thing going to about 35 miles per hour on road. Not too bad for an 85 horsepower engine. But the real selling point of this model, if you will, and why it became so universally loved, if you pardon the universal pun, is that with its Caterpillar-like tracks and its simplistic mechanical build design, this thing could go about anywhere in any condition, including over the rough conditions found in the EO, the European Theater of Operation. Again, despite its simplistic design, the Bren Gun Carrier saw extensive combat action in World War II and in many conflicts subsequently thereafter. I already mentioned various other variations were made, but one of those was a version wielding a 25-pounder gun. Pretty damn impressive, as I said before. All right, focusing back in on the model, as you can see, I have it assembled. I have painted it in olive drab, TS-28, which is a Tamiya color. The top tarpoleum or tarp piece I painted in a tan color. And if you look closely at the tracks, normally I like to paint my tracks either a black or a steel finish, depending on what kind of tracks they are, whether they be rubber tracks uh, or steel or metal tracks. In this case, all the reference photos that I was able to find, at least the ones in color, the tracks on the Bren Gun Carrier were normally muddy or brown or dirt colored, so I went for more of an earth-like finish for it. This version, as I said before, has the tarp on it, but you can get several versions that are completely open, so if you have 187 or HO scale military figures, this would be an interesting model to outfit a crew of, especially if you get the Bren Gun Carrier crew set, which is also available. All right, that will bring this episode of Diecast Emporium Military Mondays to a close. Very, very quick one here this week, but a fun model to do. Overall, for a model that costs less than $16 US, it is a really fun, easy, stress free assembly. You can easily outfit a wargaming ta table full of a bunch of these different variations of Bren Gun Carriers, especially those if you're doing a scene for the European Theater of Operations. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to us here if you aren't already. And if you take a look at your screen right now, you will see a series of other suggested Diecast Emporium Military Monday installments. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Be well. I'll see you in the next review.